Today, I'm gonna to show you how to import and organize your images in Lightroom. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to import your images into Lightroom, as well as how to add your copyright information. Then we're gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to organize your images. And then finally, how to choose your selects and get back to them at any time. Now, a quick little note here, we're gonna be using Lightroom Classic CC. There's also another program they recently introduced called Lightroom CC, which is a little bit more cloud-based. So we're starting off here in Lightroom with nothing at all. We wanna start with the top level of organization. And in Lightroom, those are called catalogs. So catalogs are kind of like these big folders that then you put other things inside of. And the way that I find catalogs most helpful is for different genres of photography that I do. So in this example, we're gonna import images from Greece. They're all just stock photos, but because they're all from a country, we're gonna include this in a travel catalog. So the idea here is that if you travel to a bunch of different places, you could then bring your images into your travel catalog and organize them by place, as well as you know anything else you want with inside that. So first thing we need to do here in Lightroom is create our new catalog. So I'm gonna to go to File, down to New Catalog, and we're just gonna call this Travel. Perfect. Let's hit Create here. It's gonna close down Lightroom and open it back up. You can see for travel Lightroom catalog. And now we have travel Lightroom catalog and it's completely blank. So the idea is everything that you put in these catalogs exists in the catalogs themselves. Your images will still just be on your hard drive wherever you decide to put them on your hard drive. But the catalogs are a way of organization within Lightroom. So now we have our travel Lightroom catalog set up. We're ready to bring in some of our images. So I'm gonna click on this import icon, which brings up the import dialog here in Lightroom. Now you can most definitely just navigate to your uh, images here as well. There we go, like I could go to my images here and import them here. But I actually find it a little bit more, just a little easier to just find those images in Finder or Windows Explorer, and then just click and drag them right in. And it basically just does the same thing, it'll find it for you. Good deal. So now we have all of our images that we're gonna be bringing in for this tutorial. And quick little side note, these images are included on flurn.com. So you can download these, just follow the link right down below. That way you can follow along with this tutorial. Now we have a few different options here on the top I wanna to talk about. Now if you're bringing these in from a memory card, you're gonna have the options to copy these as a DNG or just copy them. Copy as a DNG will convert them to a DNG. This is a non-proprietary version of a RAW file, okay? So if you are photographing your images in RAW and bringing them into your computer through Lightroom, I suggest copying them as a DNG. If you wanna keep them in their original format, like Canon would be CR2, Nikon would be NEF, those are RAW files, you can just go to copy. If they're already on your computer and you wanna move them somewhere through organization, you can do that here or if you just wanna add them and leave them in their current location, you can do that as well. Now, my personal preference is I actually like Lightroom to organize my images by date. So in this case, I'm gonna have it move these images. So they were in just, you know, a sample images folder that I created for this tutorial. Whether they're in, you know, copy as DNG, you can choose a destination folder, copy, you can choose a destination folder, and move, you can choose destination folder, add, is just gonna add them into Lightroom, but they're gonna stay where they were on your hard drive. So let's just go to move here. Now you can put them wherever you'd like. I've just got a default here to my pictures folder. And what's nice, I actually really like this. I think Lightroom's done a great job here. The organize by date, which is their standard organization. And then I just use their standard date format. It automatically knows these pictures are from 2019. So it's gonna create a 2019 folder. And then it's gonna create a subfolder under that with the date of the images. So it helps me stay organized. When I bring my images in, they're all gonna be organized by date. And then we've got some other ways of organizing them here as well, which we're gonna show you. The last little thing we wanna make sure is that you add your copyright information. 
because let's say you upload your images to the web and then uh, an online publication uses one of your images, you wanna make sure you can claim that as your image. And if you add your copyright information here in Lightroom, it's very easy to claim that because the copyright information is stored within the images themselves. So to do that, you're gonna go right here where it says metadata. It might be set to none right now in apply during import, by the way. So metadata, let's go ahead and create a new preset. I'm just gonna call this Aaron Nace. I didn't actually take these pictures, so I'm not gonna apply my metadata to these, but I'm assuming that you are gonna take the pictures that you bring in. We'll just call this Aaron Nace. Now, here where it says IPTC copyright, this is where you're gonna to wanna to choose to put your information. So I'm gonna put my name, copyright status is going to be copyrighted, and I'm gonna just put my uh, website, aaronace.com. Good deal. If you do nothing else, just make sure you fill this out where it says IPTC copyright. You can put your, you know, address in there, an email, whatever, all this fun stuff. But this is really the important stuff. So let's go ahead and hit create. And this creates a preset. Now, the nice thing about this preset, you don't have to do that every time. You just make sure when you import your images that you go ahead and click on the preset that you've created. So what we've got now is Lightroom is going to pull these images in, whether it was from a SD card, like from your camera, or anywhere on your hard drive. It's going to file them by date and put our copyright information in these images. So let's go ahead and hit import and see what it does. Keep in mind also we are in our travel Lightroom catalog. So it brings my images in, renders these previews, which is nice. And you can see it's organized these on my hard drive. We have our date folder for the year and then we have the date of our actual shoot. Now. One more step that I prefer to do is to right click here on the actual date. So like on the date of the photo shoot or the date that you took the pictures, I prefer to right click on there and go to rename. And then I just put a space at the end and I'm just gonna call this Greece and hit save. There we go. Let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit more. This way, if I have a bunch of different folders here, I can, not only are they organized by date, but I can also see whatever I photographed. So it's just a quick little tip that'll help you stay well organized. Now, this is our Travel Lightroom catalog. We're gonna assume that, okay, we've got some pictures from Greece. You could have some images from Australia and Turkey and France or wherever you've gone. Uh, Indianapolis, uh, <laughs> you can organize those here by date. And the next way to organize those is by collection. So let's go ahead and show you how those work. Now, the way that they've done collections in Lightroom, it's a little bit interesting. If you want to create like a like overarching collection and then collections within that, you have to create what's known as a collection set. Okay, so the big one is called a collection set and then collections go inside of that collection set. Good deal. So let's go ahead and create a collection set called Grease. We're gonna click on our collections here, little plus icon, create collection set, and I'm gonna call this Grease. There we are, and we'll hit create. So now we have a Grease collection set. I'm gonna create another, there we go, collection now, and this is gonna go in Grease. So we're gonna create a collection, all right, and I'm just gonna call this all photos. This is gonna go inside of Grease, and we hit create there too. So now what I can do, let's hit Control or Command A to select all of our images. We're gonna click and drag them into the all photos collection here within my Grease collection set. Let's just do a couple more and then I'll kind of like show you how this works a little bit better. So let's go ahead and create one more. We're gonna create another collection here, architecture, and this is gonna be inside of Grease as well. There we go. And let's go ahead and add one more. People, and this is gonna be inside Grease also. Now these could be like marketplace, uh, day by the seashore, you know, things like that within your within your trip. Now we've got some people in these images, so I'm gonna hold control or command and click on the people and just drag those right into people. There we go. And now let's just select everything. I'm gonna hold control or command and click on some things that don't have uh, architecture in them. Which almost all of these images do have some type of architecture. So we're gonna click and drag those in architecture as well. 
we've done a really good job organizing up until now. And it does take a little bit of work on the front end, but down the line, this is gonna save you so much time. It's very nice to stay organized. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Now, of course, in our folders, I can right click and I'm just gonna go to show in Finder. So in our actual 2019 folder, so you can see I brought in my pictures, we have 2019 and I have 2019 Greece. There we go, those are the images from Greece. So it's right here in my folders on my computer. And then also here in Lightroom, I have Greece. I can simply click on this. It'll bring in all the images from Greece. I have all photos. I can see just my architecture folders and just the folders that have, or just the images that have people in them as well. Now, the last thing we're gonna focus on are our pics. These are like our favorite images. So let's go ahead and find this. I'm gonna just click on a few images that I like and hit P for pic. So there we go, we'll just click on that one, P for pic. And I like that image a lot. So we'll hit P for pick there too. Now, there are a few ways of viewing your pics. The first thing you can do right down here is where it says filter. You can go to flagged. There we go. And then just click on this little flag right there. Boom. So flags and pics is the same thing. So these are the images that I just picked. So you can see them here very easily. And that's going to be, again, within my grease collection. The other thing that you can do, let's just turn that off, is I can create what's known as a smart collection. So let's go ahead and create one of those. We're gonna click this little plus icon. We're gonna create a smart collection. And I'll just call this Picks. Good deal. It'll be inside of my collection set, Grease. Sounds good. And you can set a bunch of rules. So for instance, I could set a pick flag is flagged. Okay, that's that little flag that we see there. I could add another one that says, you know, in this case, that's really all we need, but we can create, like you could give them different colors, or you could say like, you know, a specific date or a specific location, really all these different settings you can choose. Now, in this case, we're just gonna choose this pick flag. So let's go ahead and minus that one out and hit create. So here within Greece, I can see my picks from Greece very easily. Now, if I decide to add some more picks, so let's just click on a few other images and hit P for pick. There we go. That one looks nice and that one looks nice because this is a smart collection. I'm gonna click there. It automatically adds those images to my smart collection. So all I have to do is go through my grease images, hit P on the ones that I like and they're automatically gonna be in my pics. So let's say we come back to this a year down the line after we've done some traveling and be like, oh, I wanna go back and see my grease pictures. So easy to do. All we have to do is go to our collection right here we can see, oh, I organized this with architecture folders and pictures with people in them. Oh, and I even chose some pics. How nice is that? Oh, these are the favorite images of my Greece trip. Let me go ahead and print those off and put them on my wall. And everyone will be so impressed uh, that I went to Greece and took some really great pictures there. <laughs> well, there we have it. Lightroom importing, adding our copyright information and organization, a system that is gonna help you in the long term find exactly what you need very quickly. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope this helps out. Uh, I hope this helps out. I hope this helps out. It's the other way of saying that. I know there are a lot of different ways to organize your images in Lightroom and other programs. This is the way that I found works really well. If you've got other ways that work well, put them in the comments right down below. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your screen because we'll send you free videos every single week. Thank you so much. I'll flirty later. Bye everyone.